So, I thought I'd provide an update on my build. This is the 148 scale Apollo lunar spacecraft, originally manufactured in 1968. This is the 1994 Repop, exact same tooling, nothing changed. Um, it's the Block 1 design, um, and I'm building it just as it came out of the box. The only difference is that I'm going to add to it this uh, Shapeways boost protective cover and launch escape tower. Um, the kit didn't come with that, it just came with a launch escape tower that mounted to the command module. So I wanted to make that part of it look a little bit more authentic. And so that's what I'm gonna do. You see the Shapeways uh, piece behind the, uh, the cockpit here and it's, it's beautiful. It's, the detailing is extraordinary, the parts fit perfectly. i really pleased with how that looks. So that's gonna be a great addition. So what I'm doing here is I'm just finishing up the cockpit. Um, I bought this kit online from someone who opened the box and probably went through the parts and some of the parts were in little Ziploc bags and so I accounted for all of them. But the only thing missing were the decals. So what I did was I went online and I found the decal sheet um, on some website somewhere. And I printed, I printed that decal sheet like this, okay? I printed it like that. I, I changed the color in here to emulate more of the interior color of the command module. And then I cut those pieces out with an X-Acto knife, like this right here. Cut the pieces out and um, <clears throat> there's the remainder. Those are actually to scale. These parts are to scale. So those are the rest of them that I'll end up using more than likely. Um, and the decals for the um, control panels um, were cut out of the photo paper that I printed them on. And what I did first was I sanded off all of the plastic um, raised detail on the control panel so that it was smooth. And then I used just testers model glue and put a thin layer of it on the plastic. I put the decal on and it looks great. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it turned out really nice. And there's like four decal pieces. It's the front control panel. It's this control panel here. There's one down on the floor area down in there. Let's see if this might be too much light, but down on the floor area there. And then uh, on the sides, you can't really see on the sides of the, uh, of the command module. Inside, there's actually control panels, but you're not going to really see them. And so, um, you know... This is a Block 1 style spacesuit. Um, I took a lot of creative license in painting it. I wanted the astronauts to kind of stand out, so I mixed a very thin mix of gray paint, um, acrylic, and water, and just brushed over the whole suit just to give it some, some detailing in, in the creases in the suit, in the arms and, and the legs and stuff, so I gave it a more 3D appearance. You know, just. It looks a little weathered, and I like that look. You know, it gives some gives some detail where it really isn't a lot of detail in these spacesuits because they're the the old design. So, anyhow, that's what the cockpit looks like. So, um, <clears throat> that will mount onto the heat shield, which is right here, like such. And the heat shield, from everything I can see, the paint job on the heat shield remains kind of a white color. I've not seen anything that said it was any other color. Uh, if you know of something, let me know, but uh, everything I've looked up uh, shows it's still being white, so it's going to remain white. Um, and of course, the here is the uh, outer shell right here. Um, just had to do a little bit of, um, of uh, putty work on this area right here. Um, and this particular kit, like all kits of this vintage on the command module, let me get the instruction sheet out here, and I will show you. There we go, right here. Of course, these instructions from 1994 are the universal instructions. They don't tell you what any of these parts are. Back in the day, when this kit first came out, they had, you know, helium tank, oxygen tank, you know, the fuel cells. They identified all these parts. There's no identifying nomenclature here. There's just numbers and letters, and that kind of sucks. But this part right here, it looks like a little um, hemispherical fin that sticks out. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, well, I, I glued them on like I did back in 1968. However, um, the boost protective cover didn't fit over this very well because those parts stuck out too far. 
So I decided then to take my Dremel tool and grind them down so they were relatively flat with a relief that didn't stick out any further than this electrical umbilical here. And so now the cover fits over it fine. Um, it doesn't add anything to the authenticity of the craft. It just makes it easier for me to put the uh, BPC over the top of the command module. And frankly, even the block one is lacking in, in detail authenticity. So it really doesn't matter. Um, unless you're a purist, you're not gonna notice all these things and you're gonna look at this kit and go, ah, it's an Apollo spacecraft, that's really cool. Um, if you're a purist, you're gonna go, oh, this isn't right and that isn't right. And, and that's fine, but I'm not building it for that reason. Not this kit, I'm just building it for fun. So anyhow, this here would fit on top of here like this, just like that. These instructions away. <clears throat> and then the uh, parachute section here. This is the drogue and parachute um, portion of the spacecraft. That actually gets glued onto here like this, just like that. Okay. So after all that work you did on the inside, you really can't see a whole lot in there. You know, it's... And only you know that you did all that work in there. You shine a flashlight in there and you can kind of see a little bit in there, you know. Shine it through a window and you might see a little bit of the detailing in there, but eh, you're not going to see a lot. And then this is the hatch cover here. This actually screws down and twists on top of it. You don't glue it in because this piece here will actually um, dock with the uh, lunar module and you'll be able to connect those two parts later on when you finish them. Okay, this here would fit up on top of here like this. Problem with this is this is where the launch escape tower attached to on the original kit. So I'm going to have to grind those off of there and smooth that down. So that's going to take a little bit of work to do that because that doesn't need to be there. So that'll be my next major modification to this is just to grind those down. And then after that, this fits on top of here. I think this drops into a little groove here somewhere, but anyhow. That fits on there like that. And that's how the whole configuration will look. Here's the door, I'm um, sorry, the hatch. Um, the hatch doesn't fit great. It's It's got a lot of, you know, the gap, there's a gap issue between the door and the uh, outer shell and it's inconsistent. So I'm adding some um, putty along some of these edges and I'll sand them down to make the fit a little bit cleaner. I'm using Tamaya um, white putty and then I'm also using um, Mr. Surfacer's Dissolve Putty to accomplish that task. And just using a variety of, of sandpapers to get it to, you know, as smooth as I want it to be. So, that's that. And then this here. This will fall off, so I might as well take it off now. This here, then fits on top of there. Like that. And then this right here will fit. There's a couple little pins on top of here that, that this um, mounts into. And they're small, so they're hard to see. There we go. There you go. That's it. Very cool. So that, that will be one complete part of the craft. That's what I'm going to complete first is the, uh, you know, the um, launch escape system and the command module. And then I'll move on to the service module from there. My hope is to be um, finished with the LEM um, by July 21st. Uh, maybe I'll be done with the whole kit by then. I just do this in bits and pieces, drips and drabs here and there. It's a kind of a, you know, if you want a little stress release, you want a, a diversion from your day, you want to do something that's not, you know, on the honeydew list. Uh, you come in, you work on your models, and that's what I do. That's how I use my time to relax as I build these. So, um, but anyhow, I wanted to show you one other thing here, a little tip that I came up with. Move this off of here. Fits in there real nice, as you can see. Put that back over here. The inside of the command module, which I, I painted this color, which is closely emulates the interior of the command module. To get that painted in there without anything you know running over onto this side, I took the bottom of a solo cup like this here cut the bottom out made a funnel out of paper stuck that inside like that move this out of the way and then i took the command module the outer shell and dropped it in here like this so what that does is it looks like that and then i just shot the paint on the inside 
and then you can, you know, shoot paint and coat it. I actually coated it with a, a number of coats of, uh, of um, glow-in-the-dark paint, kind of a clear tester's paint, so that if you were to expose the inside of this command module to light from a, an LED, you know, pen light or something, it would actually have that kind of green glow and then glow in the dark effect. The paint's not really super effective and it doesn't work really great, but I just thought it would be kind of a neat idea to have that feature uh, just to be able to light up the inside a little bit without running electrical um, wiring in there and small LED lights. That was more work that I wanted to get involved in. But uh, so I shot the glow in the dark paint in there and it does work. You just got to hold the pen light, you know, you got to hold a, a light like this on it, you know, for a period of time, you know, to get it to soak it, soak up all the photons. Uh, so that it so that it glows, but it does have a little bit of a glow, which is kind of cool. But anyhow, that's a little tip on how to spray the inside of that. Um, I masked off around the window so that I could put the uh, the clear lenses over that, and then I'll just paint around the edge when I'm done. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my tip for the day on that. Um, other than that, and uh, and the and the tip on the decal sheet. Um, if you got any questions about anything, certainly uh, you know feel free to to ask them. Otherwise, that's, uh, that's it for now. And we'll, um, we'll do another video when I get a little further along and complete this part of it. So I can show you the, the whole, the whole thing completed. Thanks for watching.